that's a rough draw. I mean, you make it in the top 48 as a puff and your first round is against the best puff in Europe. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, he had, to, he had to face off against Whittle and, and Shima. I mean, I guess that's both pretty decent matchups, Marth and, and Peach, so. Yeah. Okay, looks like we're gonna get into it though. Jarraiden versus Professor Pro. We're gonna start off on FOD. That's an interesting starter pick. Jarraiden getting something going here. Doesn't quite find it though. The shield push from uh, Professor Pro's get up attack ends up saving him there. Yeah, that's one of the things that's bad about having super low traction. You get pushed pretty far. I mean, sometimes it can help you, but sometimes you can also just miss your shield grab, for instance. Yeah, and there's no way that upbeat was intentional from Prof, but it ended up working out pretty nicely. Looked like he wanted to stall and just ended up going, all right, you know, he's coming above me. I'm just going to go uh, with the up angle. Oh, great reaction there from Professor Pro. He's going to go out oh, for another man. shine. Methodical, knowing that down, man. B, down B is a very laggy move, so if you are close enough, you can definitely punish that. Yeah, that was methodical as well. Waiting for Luigi to burn the jump, get close enough, and then just shine out. Because Luigi's recovery minus the minus his double jump and his side Bs from really high up is, is pretty trash. <laughs> Can't really do much against uh, most characters edge guarding you. Yeah, although never count out Jar Raiden though. His punish game is super scary, and uh, it feels like every time he touches you, he, you could just die. So Yeah, he hits although, like a truck. Yeah, although so far, J uh, Professor Pro is playing pretty patiently, just uh, doing some safe pokes here and there. Already 80% on the Jar Raiden. Yeah, almost finding the jab up smash. Nicely power shielded by Jar Raiden there, but that F tilt a little anti, and Professor Pro takes advantage, getting the up smash. And the back air here as well on the edge guard. Two stock lead now. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm kind of surprised Jar Raiden just opted to, to drift all the way onto ledge. That was kind of risky. Like, he didn't really do anything. Yeah, I think he was a, I think he was afraid after that first stock where, where Prof showed dominance off stage and edge guarding with Shine that uh, he was kind of worried about getting to ledge as fast as he possibly could. Yeah, and, and so far uh, Professor Pro uh, is telling him to be afraid, so it, it makes sense that he is afraid. Exactly, yeah, this conditioning. And what the, okay, what? yeah. <laughs> I guess because yeah, okay. Fox was in the air during the up smash, like, which is yeah. missing. Up smash, uh, it does make you jump a little bit because of the uh, like the, the flip you do. Yeah. So <laughs> your hurt box kind of just shifts. He matrix that one for sure. Chow Raiden looks like he missed uh, his follow up there because of the movement thing. I figured he would have wave dash over to get the down smash. Maybe he was expecting a tech in place. Yeah. Chow Raiden crossing Professor Pro up at the ledge here, getting a punish on this platform. That was a really good read on the double jump there from, from Char Raiden, but he's still not getting this combo. Oh, is he going to get this killed? Nice down air. That could be the kill if he gets this edge guard, but Professor Pro is close enough to the stage to make it back to, to the ground, and up tilt is going to do it. Yeah, killing with an up tilt there. Now Char Raiden has to make something work, especially an explosive combo after this, because Prof has been so good at tacking on damage and getting a solid kill at the right percent. Wow, There's the great. forward air he needed, yeah. just calling him out. Great find there from Jar Raiden, but he is in a pretty bad spot. Already uh, a full stock behind on his last stock first game here. And uh, Professor Pro is just relentlessly running over him so far. Yeah, good reversal there by Jar Raiden to forward air coming up the ledge, recognizing that, like you said, Professor Pro was just running all over him, and you have to kind of get him off you if you want to be able to recover. Wow, Very questionable patience. down B, I think. Yeah, yeah but the good patience from uh, from Professor Pro waiting for him to uh, miss the down B. Yeah, for sure. A lesser player would have fallen into that, for sure. And Professor Pro, again, just waiting for him to burn that up B, shine him off, and it's hopeless from there. Really, Luigi can't do anything. Yeah. I mean, if you're good at, at uh, edge guarding Luigi, it's like it's it gets really easy for, for just to find kills after, after you've worked Luigi off stage. And Professor Pro is showing that he's definitely capable of doing that. Yeah, Jar Raiden's gonna tighten up his punish here for sure. Hopefully a stage like FD is coming up where you can kind of take advantage of the, the chain grabbing and just sort of the, the difficulty of actually getting in against a character that's so slippery on the giant platform stage. <laughs> yeah, FD's gonna be the, the obvious counter pick probably. There it is. Power shielding that laser, that's such a statement. Just <laughs> no. Yeah. Opting for the shine there, I like the idea by Professor Pro just going for an early edge guard opportunity to try and get a quick stock because you really don't want to go down early against Luigi on this stage. Yeah, Jar Raiden opting for some pretty weird neutral uh, options, going for short up down air wave dash back three times in a row. And I liked Professor Pro's minor positional adjustment there. He just crossed Luigi up just uh, after Luigi put out the nair. Instead of attacking Luigi into stage, crossing him up and attacking out towards uh, the ledge because it's like 
way more efficient to attack that way in terms of killing power. And Prof actually cleans the stock up with an up smash too. Oh, this is brutal. He's gonna shine him sense oh. into stage though. Yeah, lucky for uh, for Ja Raiden there. So that could have been his old stock, but um, he gets back. Let's see if Ja Raiden can get a grab or something. Grab would, grab would probably mean uh, the end of Professor Pro's stock. But Professor Pro playing really patient here, using his full jump and his double jump to uh, to avoid Ja Raiden. Ja Raiden finds a forward tilt though. And the backer will do it as well. He's too far out. If Ja Raiden can get this edge guard. He actually Under. goes for it. That? That's quite of a scary option if uh, Professor Pro uh, got the tech there. Um, he might just get the shined off stage. So, yeah, exactly. But good you stuff. Watch out. Good stuff from Ja Ryan to actually find that kill there. Prof baiting out the Nair there with the jump, but actually gets clipped by it in the end. Ooh. Good understanding of the matchup. Luigi's really looking for a Nair interrupt out of combos because that's just such a golden thing for Luigi to find. Wow, great, great stuff from Professor Pro. He knows exactly how to deal with uh, with Luigi's recovery there. Getting in between the side B hitbox and the up B hitbox to get the ledge. But now, Jaraiden's finally got a chain grab going. Yeah, and the push away from the, the, the shield DI from the get up attack isn't enough either. Yeah, Jaraiden had that continues. nice Ooh. The soft nair to catch was pretty nice. Yeah, that was a very, very clean punish. Let's see if he can get the edge guard though. No, Professor Pro gets back to stage and now... Professor Pro might be able to stack on some more damage. Yeah, one has to ask if Professor Pro is a little bit too passive there on the ledge. I mean, he had a nice opportunity for the edge guard, but either way, it is a risky play to put yourself in that position against Luigi, but it seemed better than doing nothing, right? <laughs> wow. I can't believe Professor Pro actually went for the up throw up air and it connected. Yeah, that is a big risk, especially on a stage like this. Luigi coming down with a Nair can quickly wrap the stock up. Prof staying composed, staying patient. He knows he has a lead and doesn't want to throw it away, but Ja Raiden gets a grab, and this could be the start of Ja Raiden's lead Ooh. here. Yo, that was such a great forward tilt to, to mess up uh, the tech that uh, Professor Pro was lining up. Prof staying nicely spaced away from the shield, just trying to catch Luigi moving in rather than pressure the shield itself. I like the, the forward throw decision from Professor Pro, opting for forward throw into Shine to get a edge guard situation going versus Ja Raiden. Yeah. Again, Mr. Uh, I was about to say Mr. Pro. <laughs> Mr. Pro. <laughs> Professor Pro Mr. really understands that he has to get Luigi out towards the edge of stage because, again, his strength in this matchup seems to be his ability to edge guard Luigi consistently. Ooh, nice. That was a really nice uh, find from Ja Raiden. Cleaning up the stock, and now it's even stocks, but... Uh... Small lead for Professor Pro, but it could swing at any moment if Jaraiden finds a grab, but it's easier said than done. Yeah, Prof is playing with fire here, and that one grab could actually close out all of this, so he has to be very careful what he does. Finds the up throw up air as well. Very high commit yeah. for that. And the classic yeah. Prof side be off stage as well. That was, uh, yeah, classic. But that was pretty wild. I, I really didn't expect the up air to actually just straight up beat out the, the Nair that Ja Ryan was throwing out. But uh, good stuff from Professor Pro getting the second game. He's looking at just uh, tear, th tear through losers, man. Yeah, make his run worthwhile. I mean, if you're going to get knocked into losers, you better take advantage of it. Use all of those uh, games to warm up and then coming into top eight, you're hot. You know, you're going wild. You can push through. See yeah. how far you get. Plus, of course, in the sense of, you know, once he's pushed through the whole bracket, the the hard part, let's say, is over in the sense that he's played through the giant pool of players he had to play to get to top eight, and now he's among the talent pool of people he'd expect to play against anyway in top eight. So if he does get there, it'll be a lot of weight off his shoulders, I imagine. We're going back to FD. No surprises there, I think. It was so close that uh, there's no reason to try another yeah, switch here. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that a professor, I mean, Ja Raiden needs is basically one grab, right? Or one knockdown. And just like uh, like he's doing right now, opting for the up air, up air into down air. Doesn't get the edge guard though, but he's in a very good spot. The forward tilt is going to do it probably. Not quite. He has to hit that forward on the edge guard and hold ledge here, I think. Still no, also he... not enough. Yeah, uh, I think if he held ledge, Professor Pro would have just gotten onto stage. So it was pretty yeah. tricky. 170% on Professor Pro. He's looking to take uh, something home here with uh, this high percentage stock. Prof staying patient, continuing to shoot lasers, just trying to rack up some damage to make something work because at lower percents, hitting Luigi is kind of uh, 
a death sentence in a lot of ways if you're not ready for it. And again, just the perfectly spaced up air there to catch Luigi coming down and not get clipped by the up air. Uh, by the neutral air, sorry. Oh, huge punish going for Jaw Raiden. He gets the grab, gets another re grab. Up B! That's gonna kill. He knew he knows his percentages. Yeah, that was a clean stock there from Jaw Raiden as well. Taking a two stock lead now with only 44%. Looking pretty hard for Prof. Gets another grab and a chain grab as well. Ooh, this is rough for Prof. Down smash opens up another tech chase. Doesn't quite find anything though. And that shine will take the first stock, it looks like. He just has to hold yeah, ledge here. Be, yeah, yeah. A little too low there for Jaw Raiden to get back. He actually finds the down B across the stage to get another punish going on Professor Pro, and this is looking curtains, man. Another Dead. great back air. Wow. Dove off for the edge guard. Nicely done. Three stocks to one. And I mean, Professor Pro should just be dusting himself off after this one, saying, you know, okay, fair enough. I got one FD game at least. I've got the counter pick advantage for two two uh, matches here on out. It's no big deal. No sense in letting this game burn your momentum or, or get to you, really. I'm super impressed with the uh, prof's ability to actually find up throw up airs against Luigi. That is not easy. Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, it's so risky as well. It's not only difficult, but it's, the risk reward is insane. Ooh. Yeah, Jaraiden forced to up B because he didn't land on the stage there with that last up air. But he's still in a good spot here. Gets another grab. This should be it. No, he doesn't get the, the follow-up because of the Professor Pro's DI. Off stage now. Can he get this edge guard? Gets the strong bear. We'll just... Oh, the misfire! Oh, misfire. Clutch misfire. The perfect, I mean. Yeah, and the perfect timing as well because uh, having a misfire that high is actually really good. Yeah, I mean, not that Jaw Raiden needed it, and there's the Nair as well. You interrupt uh, Fox trying to do anything there with a Nair at high percent, and the, the game is over. But not that Jaw Raiden needed the misfire per se. He was very firmly in the driver's seat of that game, but it's just a little cherry on top. Yeah, that was very nice. A three-stock uh, for uh, for Jaw Raiden, and he's he's on the board now. Let's see if he can uh, take this momentum that he's gotten and take it to uh, the counter pick of Professor Pro because he's gonna need a uh, he's gonna need to stay composed against Professor Pro's counter pick. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. I'm assuming something like Yoshi's might be on the table or FOD, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. Yoshi's is somewhat risky as well. You don't know if um, uh, Pokemon Stadium makes a lot more sense too. I was thinking you want the space of Dreamland against Luigi, but Dreamland is such a weird pick because Luigi will live for long as well, and then it's kind of a nuisance to deal with. I need to rejoin the broadcast real quick. Yeah, mine also crashed. I'm into it now. Professor Pro with a huge start though. 80% on Jaw Raiden on his first stock. Wow. And the, oh, the call out as well, just the roll call out. I didn't see it, but it must have been great because he's a full stock ahead without any percent. Yeah. So far, so good. Looking like a dominant game. Oh, a little bit misspaced up smash there. Yeah, I like I like him going for up smash though, but I think maybe it would have gotten crouch canceled at zero percent. Ooh, nice shield poke there from Jar Raiden. Is he gonna get another hit? No. Oh, actually, he's gonna get a counter hit with that Nair. Oh my God. He's so slippery, man. Yeah. Prof opting for the up tilt there, and Jar Raiden just recognizing that, fading back to legend, making it. Another day on this stock. Oh, the oh slow my get up. god. Yeah, the slow getup is really, really helpful sometimes against uh, Luigi, especially since uh, his recovery is so linear. Yeah, nice awareness by Prof to realize that he didn't even have to roll up there, really. He did a, a get up attack from Legend. It was still slow enough. And no jump on Jarai. Oh. He misses the Prof shine, though. Uh, doesn't matter. This is looking Man. rough. Will Prof take this with a four stock at the very end? Looks this like Jarai's uh... taking a second to figure something out. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but is it too little too late? Because it, this is this is a very, very hard player to come back against if you're two stocks behind, two full stocks behind. For sure, and uh, as the percent percentage mounts as well, it's just going to get harder and harder as Luigi to make this work. Towards the end of this game, we might see Prof even just trying to go for trades, up air trades, up smash trades, anything. Opting for forward throw again, recognizing that maybe the edge guard is what you're looking for here and not getting too antsy with the up throw up airs. I think that's also a factor of it. If you mix up your throws, you're going to be able to connect up throw up air a lot more because Luigi's yeah. not exactly prepared for it. Oh, nice knockdown for Professor Pro. He's looking to take it, man. He's going to shield that. And oh, it's a ceiling glitch. That's surprising. Ceiling glitch on the right side of a shield is less uh, likely to happen, but it happened and there it is. Professor Pro takes it to 3-1 over Jaw Raiden, but good performance from Jaw Raiden. Sad for him that he uh, 
lost in such a you know commanding way the last game but i think uh he definitely had the potential to beat professor pro yeah it was there it was there the uh the fd game naturally if that fd game had come one game earlier you know where jaw raiden had that commanding lead it would have been a lot easier but uh, unfortunately wasn't able to get uh, an even set going I'm just looking at bracket right now. I think we're waiting on Ice and Frenzy to finish up their their game so we can see um, Professor Pro versus either of those players. So it's actually two to two for Ice and Frenzy over at BTS Smash. It's being streamed right now. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. It's been going on for a while, no? So uh, I think there might be some connection issues with them or something uh, something on that level. Uh, ah, okay. okay. They keep disconnecting, reconnecting, I guess, game five. That's rough. Dang, yeah, that's it's a it's a common uh, problem with the, the Germany and UK connections. For some reason, they there's uh, like some routing issues, which uh, results in this these kind of issues. That's unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to wait on that set, and then we'll have um, the winner or the loser of that face off against Raul in losers. So Raul might just get his rematch against Frenzy. It's possible. I mean, so far it's it's lined up to be either one of these players could take it with the 2-2. But uh, we do have some post-match stats for you guys here if you're looking. Uh, Luigi with actually less neutral wins than Prof. And in this case, we see that the openings per kill for Luigi is higher, actually. So it's a bit of a different case than we saw last set, where Raul had less openings, but a much higher, uh, a much lower openings per kill stat, in which case yeah. he was able to run away with it. But I think the big difference here is the average percentage because uh, there were some really early stocks uh, taken by uh, Professor Pro. Yeah. As you can Look see, the that. average is only 96 uh, in comparison to Jar Raiden's 138, which makes sense because Jar Raiden even did more damage in total to Professor Pro. But at the end of the day, it's not about damage, it's about stocks. So, Yeah, I think it also boils down to those last two games, which were just slobber knockers either way. You know, both players had a nice commanding game over each other, and Ja Raiden must have tacked on a lot of damage on that uh, FD game against Professor Pro. Yeah. Um, um, well, while we're waiting...